Hey, six now, the terrorist Iranian regime moving forward. The United States must now deal with the reality that, yes, U.S. troops were wounded during the missile attack on an Iraqi air base last week. Now, this is not insignificant. Those are our guys that Iran targeted and wounded. However, rest assured that this president is keeping score. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, this is why when these reports came out last week and the mainstream media was reporting, it was being echoed by various sources. Some of them surprised me, some of these sources, some of these conservative sources. They were echoing this crazy notion that Iran missed our guys, missed the targets on purpose. This is why that's so dangerous to have that kind of reckless reporting and reckless thinking. Because it's also giving Iran way too much credit. It's giving Iran an out, and we should never, ever do that. You know, it's really interesting, Graham. First of all, you're right. And today, the grand Ayatollah slash dictator for life slash murdering thug who runs the country of Iran, Ayatollah Khamenei, was not only bragging about the attack, he was promising much, much more. If you ever had an inkling that this president was not the same as the last president god help iran if they do it again i think you're i think you're totally right you're poking a bear with a stick and the bear is awake and is going to take the stick and your arm if not the rest of you with it if iran does anything more they just don't get it okay and apparently our, our allies in Europe don't get some things, because this bothers me, uh, Barry, and that is uh, France, Germany, and Great Britain. Okay, finally, they're, they're on with the sanctions. It took you long enough. You know, the only people abiding by the JCPOA, that's the Iran nuke deal, the only people abiding by it was France, Germany, and Great Britain, because we know, of course, the United States withdrew, but we also know Iran was not abiding by it, and how do we know this? Well, we have this thing called the canary in the coal mine. It's Benjamin Netanyahu and Israel. And this week, the word, and I believe this, that Iran could be nuclear ready before, that's underlined before the end of this year. This is crucially important, Barry. Look, Netanyahu went to the UN two years in a row with Mossad evidence that was incontrovertible that Iran not only never, ever slowed down, they had a covert uh, enrichment program going the whole time of the JCPOA, a covert missile development program going the whole time of the JCPOA, exportation of terror around the world in violation of numerous UN sanctions and resolutions. Everybody ignored it. And <laughs> this morning in the speech I was talking to you about, Khamenei said, because Great Britain is now going to get on board with the sanctions, they should go grab the UK ambassador, cut him up into pieces, dismember and slaughter him as a, as a message uh, to Great Britain. By the way, it wasn't the Khamenei speech. It was one of his minions, which he approves of. Right. So finally, 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 UK Germany and France are getting on board with the truth. Iran cheated for years, and they can go nuclear any time they decide. Right, and, and with, with rhetoric like that, how do you negotiate with terrorists? And, and we know the answer. Ronald Reagan had the answer. You don't negotiate with terrorists. They only understand one thing. In the end, something's got to give. And Barry, you know what? It's an election year, 2020. But if Benjamin Netanyahu is correct, his information is correct, and he hasn't failed us uh, in the past, and if what we're seeing recently in these outbursts from Iran, something's got to give, it may give this year during the election year. We shall see. Very thanks.